circles. It, it shouldn't be more than just a comedic moment. Give it to go. us. Ah! <laughs> it certainly was, Dad. you got to admit, that was funny. Yeah, well, it's like he's... Uh, oh, he's... no! He's oh, just so is that. What? It's a uh, <laughs> series of blunders here. We're going to keep going. We've got anything left in the tank? Oh, oh no! no! We have no! a Main disc has made the impossible happen here, and it works out. The eco victory, the Zeus kill, the team kill from Brokey. Oh, no. Everything that could have gone wrong certainly occurred. They have a phase. We know two left, one on the edge of the smoke. It will be Olaf Meister giving him the easiest and slowest peak. Nice work from Brokey, but only with a Galil. He's presented three to keep Phase's chances here on Dust 2. Dupree will. Ooh, I think he got spotted. Brokey does peek in and hits a great shot. Now upgrading. Maybe there's a chance for Brokey. What a clutch player he is. He's disappearing to B. He anticipates the long. Can he get on out of cover fast? Can he get out there enough? Tucks in. Just about safe. He's going to B, boys. He absolutely is. This looks great for a one versus four clutch. Brokey will get the bomb down. Magisk, he knows he hasn't crossed over towards double doors at least. And we'll see Brokey challenge. He's got him if he actually goes now. He's looking towards the window. Oh, he has no idea. Magisk might have it now. He's assuming he's coming from tunnels at this stage. Oh, he seems to... Oh, did he catch him? Oh, I think he saw him. I thought it was the backpack for sure. He's done it. Brokey. Yeah, he wins. What a clutch king. The Latvian, Latvikan. 1v4 keeps phase in it. Absolutely. Bomb outside a long man up cat and even tunnels being left. This won't end in a B play. Hunters up cat. He's got a kill. Zaiwu is dead. G2 are going to double down uh -oh. into this A site, but they don't know RPK's here. RPK could do it all, and this is it. Vitality three on three. They've worked so hard to get us to this third map. You think about Vertigo, they had to come back there. Well, now they've got to do it again. Oh, Ooh. Kenny with a blinder. See you later, RPK, RPK, sit down. As now it shocks Amasuta to try and keep the dream alive. The A site. Two smokes. And with this massive lead, that's why I Does say, that mean they have to go aggressive? I mean, well, it, they could. That's one of the options here, but they have to do. They can't play a, a classic default route. That's pretty much what we can yeah. be sure of. And that's the first pick coming in from Zipex. That doesn't connect, and they're going for a boost here at the start of the round. That's maybe just going up towards two oh, first okay. oranges. So yeah, they've uh, battened down the hatches here. We'll see whether this works out for them. One more round. It looks likely to be a B finish from phase as well. This is like the CS equivalent of building your, you know, your defenses. Exactly. They yeah. have, they've set it up. They've established all the barbed wire they need. All of the hot oil boiled and ready oh, to go. In. And here comes the push. Nico goes down and he drops straight off. The boosts are paying off. Rain slow. It looks like Castrada are off to the finals. They got four kills in four seconds. And Cold's wondering where on earth his teammates have gone. Well, that's going to be it. Surely Cold Zero with nothing left to do. Five kills ahead of them. Woman on the clock. There's surely nothing to be said. This should do it. And Device, he'll confirm the spot in the final here for Astralis. Sending phase down to the last. Signs that you need to look for with your observers while observing. Are there any signs in your Minecraft world, though, Rush? Because I've been informed. Minecraft? I've heard well, I've okay. heard rumors. I've so heard I, I whispers. do have a little tree if we do have the time. We I do. I, do uh, I did send some screenshots of my Minecraft world. You guys are very oh, excited excellent. about just it. Just what I want, really. Uh, we'll see if we can get some up right here. So here's oh. a nice little, uh, little <laughs> shot, you know. I just made it... The village was already there. I just made it look neat and pretty. That was the You the tidied up the village. What's the yeah. under, underwater section about? I'm so glad you asked. So the underwater section, that is where my nether portal is. And right. it takes you into the nether into an identical build of the house in the nether. We no. saw that. Uh, no, was that earlier this week, Rush? Right? Entrenamiento o de timing o de toma de decisiones, ¿no? Retratado, pero retratado. Nico que se va a morir del molo. Qué vergüenza, qué ventajismo. Eh. Risk overwhelmed. Device has been working on this flank for a while, but Brokey so ready for it. He misses his shot. Olaf closing the gap. Device on for his fourth. A one versus two clutch from the Danish Orpa, but the wall bank from Olaf does significant damage. Fakes it. Device gonna call the bluff. He's pushing oh. in and he hits another spectacular headshot. Yeah. Ah. Oh dear. Jax is gonna deep down Zaiwu. Apex and RPK left to hold on. And now it is just RPK, the tank. And he's getting overwhelmed, but tapping them down, tapping them out of the round is RPK. And they do hold on on the Vitality side. Now everyone falls. It's good economic damage for G2 in this round at the very, very least. But a fifth on the board for Vitality and the rounds that they have been picking up do leave them with plenty of cash in the bank accounts over here for the Vitality side. That's a two on five from Vitality, right? Like obviously the time is so low and G2, I bet they're regretting not just running out with three guns. But when you're in a five on two like that, you have to at least consider it. You have to look into the site. But G2, yeah, they, they have no armor mainly, and they just start dying to the crossfire.
Vitality picking up in this round. Jame could get caught. Comes. However, still able to put up these numbers. Mir, Ooh, he has what? to deliver on this uh, on this flank. And he's trying to buy some time. Jame turns around, but Mir does land the killing blow. Still a 1v2 required. Going to go ahead and drop this smoke. Not the most helpful, though. This is going to allow for a pool cross. He tries to plant inside it. Kicker going up and over. Ooh, but Mir, what? what on earth See is that? Ya. How on earth does he win that 1v3? What? That is incredible. He should not have been able to do that. Mir, where on earth did that come from? And of course, that's going to net all oh, the Galil. It felt like they could even throw players at him, which they did. But he took him all down. Remember, he hasn't planted the bomb. He hasn't done anything. Everyone's challenging. And even Astralis makes a mistake sometimes. And great play from him. But a 1v4 for Galil probably shouldn't be happening. Well, so that... Yeah, I mean, you know, is it me or is, like, Zai Wu just a bit of a boring player? Like, you know, you see at the end of a map, he'll have, like, 30, 40 kills. Don't mm -hmm. remember a single one of them. No. But the Kenny S flick? Man. I, I remember, remember the Kenny S flick. Now, that could be true for this series. And that might be the only memory of Kenny S that we're going to have here at the road. No, this is ending on A, and they have to be prepared. Yeah, Zai Wu, a lot of this going to fall onto him. A missed Ooh. shot. Shock strike as well. But Cold Zero taking this much damage. They're out of utility already. Astralis are looking very threatening towards the top of Banana here. Yeah, boost to watch Emo and any of that naughty smoke play. Hold. Doesn't spot anyone in his first jiggle, but Nico's just pushed all of them. He gets two. Is that going to be enough, though? It's one minute remaining here. Astralis with their backs to the wall. They've got no further grenades. The man disadvantage and Brokey. He'll jump up towards the cop. This because G2 are very aware of this B play. But wow. okay, Zaiwu and Masuta, they've made it doable. They made it possible. Kenny Ooh. fighting in the molly, and he lands that shot onto Zaiwu. Wow. Now Masuta left in the clutch. Kenny hiding on the other side of this smoke. He's delivered an incredible shot to kickstart this round for bye G2, bye. and it gets ended by Jax on this flank. What a shot! That was nuts. I'm sure we're going to be seeing that one again. That was impressive to go, but the chance of converting, I'd say, is pretty low. Apex coming up from CT, looking for the jump shot. It's not going to appear. Nothing fighting. But Jax is there on the ramp with one. RPK trades. A pistol finds effect, and now it Ooh. is all just down to Nexa with one. Oh, he's fighting. He's stuck in the open. He has to commit, and he does get the kill. That could have gotten hairy there for G2. I mean, it did. Down to one against a force, but... A victory, nonetheless, and eight rounds to the 11 of Vitality. G2 are going to start to come back in this game. We knew it would happen. We knew it could happen. Right now, it's happening. I have a high watch this. They usually hit this one deke. All right, I'm going to do the nifty play at Halls. 30% chance. I don't know if it'll work, but... Going fire! Yeah, Grenade out! Going fire! He has an arm. Oh, oh, I missed my moment. It worked. I did exactly what he did. <laughs> in favor of the G2 squad. They get into middle. They've got this foothold, and now they pour into B. Ooh. RPK able to deliver a stellar hold, but broken apart by Kenny S. As it's him v Zywu. Uh, this is a duel that a lot of people wanted to see. And it gives an anticlimactic <laughs> conclusion. <laughs> The old bomb stick and re peeked by Zai Wu. Luckily, the kit that we can see, he cannot. That little uh, blue highlight there. So, retake is nice and swift for Zai Wu. Gets the defuse and locks vitality and a pistol. RPK, how does he get three there? I'm watching that. I'm like, yeah, RPK, maybe one. Maybe one if you're lucky. And uh, he not only converts body shots into a kill, but then he flicks around and two taps. Great work from RPK on the defense. Bomb plant at least allowed for G2. Kenny makes it close. And what that money will do is allow G2 to force if they want. They actually have some really nice rushes on this map. I like how G2 take middle. I actually, after that godsend game, stole...